I got a question nope. about that real quick. I know you can back about into the music. that. But my question, since you said that, you know, he always say I watch too much TV. But when I watch TV and I see whether you're ex-police officer or now, for the main fact you're going to prison or you're going to jail, how is that going to jail being knowing that everybody know that you are police officer? I think the death row thing helped me a lot because now everybody looked at me as a pyro or blood. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. I want to I wanna, uh, talk about, you just mentioned Daz in, in that way, but um, I hear you say often that you have rights to some music, the publishing and different stuff like that. How do, I, do we want to go into the business side of how he even started mm-hmm. to deal with the music? Because mm-hmm. he dealt with the music a lot of times when, when Suge got locked up, it ended up falling in the end. But I understand now because y'all went so far back. I didn't realize oh, that yeah, at first. Yeah. But just how, talk, let's talk about that first. Let's talk about when you first uh, when you first got yeah, into dealing the with the music. Not not with the security, but with the music part of it. Because at first it was just security. The security. Well, but, had a security company. Had a security company. Had a security company and was like, had guys that work with them. So you quit the police force. You, but you quit the police force. I retired. I had a traffic accident and was about to get my ass fired by the so, police department. So you retired. So I got a medical retirement. And became said, head of security for shit. How long after? I was already head of security while I was still working as a cop. That's all. Right. Yeah, but how like long it. after um, you started working with him did you retire from that? Within a year and a half, two okay, years. Okay, so, so then it wasn't Started working for 94. They didn't have money. enough money for him. I already know what it was. He's having too much fun. Oh, and I didn't want to give up my career. Yeah, yeah. But I really did mess up my ankle in a traffic accident that caused me to have it. And Why were they about to fire you? Trouble. Like, like you got in a wreck, but. No, no, no. There's more to it. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to get the more to it. More I'm to trying it. to find Not out what was the it. more. Well, that, being around them, because now the FBI following them and like, yeah, looking at you, you're a police officer. And it wasn't even just so much me, just my guys. Because now I got like 10. Have they ever questioned you? Guys. Oh, I've been pulled in several times by the FBI, LAPD. Yeah, trying to figure out what, why you Well, they knew with... why, because I told them. I was always blunt. Hey, this is my childhood friend. I got a security company. It was all good at first. They're thinking you're a corrupt police officer. Well, they, they, you can always have that. But mm-hmm. there was no evidence of that. Because if that was so, they would have fired me. Mm-hmm. And they would have put my ass in jail. I didn't go to jail till 2017 doing some other stuff, you know, in the marijuana game, mm-hmm. which I know y'all, y'all frown on that in the South, but mm-hmm. you go in California. <laughs> I got a question about that real quick. I know you can back about into the music. that. But my question, since you said that, you know, he always say I watch too much TV, but when I watch TV and I see whether you're ex-police officer or now, for the main fact you're going to prison or you're going to jail, how is that going to jail being, knowing that everybody know that you are police officer. I think the death row thing helped me a lot because now everybody looked at me as a pyro or a blood. Okay, so you didn't get harassed or beat up oh, or no. anything Plus like the, that because of that. Yeah, and I was at a federal camp. I don't know if I had went to a, a federal pen, how that would have been, but I'm still a, I'm still Reggie. You know, even when I was a cop, I was and leading the pack and all that, I was still hanging around niggas that was on a level four yard. And ain't none of those niggas was pushing up but on me. But it don't matter. They look at you as a police. They're thinking they, that you some are. Some do. The younger age do look at that way. But everybody, man, I'm going to be honest. Niggas that did time with me going to be mad. <laughs> but they were all cool. It was like, that's Red from Death Row. It wasn't Red's the ex-cop. Of course, they knew I was an ex-cop because BET Chronicles and all that was, was playing in there. Mm. And I was on those shows. Wow. And it was in. And that's the first thing they say. Here the security, you know, ex cop. And that's, that's crazy. Uh, and, uh, but, but I didn't have uh, not one problem. Okay. Well, it's it's a lot of problem. time. Even Rick Ross, when they he been that mm-hmm. he was a CO that they say he was, um, you know, you don't know where this stuff is gonna transpire to when right. you're a cop, but mm-hmm. you're still a person. Yeah. You're still a human. You're still somebody who have emotions for the people that you love. Why do y'all walk out of Rick Ross uh you Texans walked out of his concert recently. I don't even know. I, okay. I, went, I went there. I'm not. I'm not the one that would have walked. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Really, that happened? Yeah, they just walked well, out. Recently, doing the show. How recently? How recent? Less than a week ago. Yeah, no, nah, I was on. I was on. Been on the West Coast okay. for a little bit now. You're, yeah. West Coast don't have internet, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We too busy yeah. editing our stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. We, I we got you. Okay. At any rate. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.